Uh, next, uh, we have Nicola or Nicholas, and he's yes. going to talk about revisiting, revisiting randomized gossip algorithm. Yes. Hi, all. Can you hear me well? Yes. Nice. Thank you very much for the invitation and thank you for organizing this. So I will start sharing my screen. One second. Can you see them well? Can you see the slides or not? Yeah, perfect. Yes. Okay, nice. So uh, today I will speak about revisiting randomized gossip algorithms and I will focus on presenting a general framework, uh, some conversions rates and a novel block and accelerated protocols by focusing mostly on the accelerated setting of it. So this is a joint work uh, with Peter Richtarik from Kaos University. And it's a work that we did last uh, summer, um, but I think it's a good fit for this session because combine both coding aspects and optimization uh, viewpoint. So an overview of the talk, uh, you can consider it that is divided in five main parts. The first two is something like a background, understanding what the average consensus problem is, why it's important, and some important connections between the average consensus problem and decentralized optimization. Uh, then the scheduled project methods for solving linear systems, is uh, an interesting connection between what our framework is and what we try to solve. And then I will move on in the main uh, contribution of the work, which is the optimization approach, where we will show how scheduling project methods, which is classical randomized, optim uh, randomized iterative methods for solving linear systems, can be interpreted as gossip algorithm when applied to special systems and coding the underlying network. And I will present at the end some numerical experiments and some future directions of research. So the average consensus problem is very simple. It's popular in signal processing and control theory community, especially for the last 10 years and even more from the and seminal work of Tsitsiklis in the 70s. So you have a network. Each node has one particular value, one scalar. And the goal is by communicate only with its neighbors all the nodes of the network to compute the average of the whole network. This appears in several applications in engineering, like wireless sensor networks, uh, can formulate the rumor spreading in social networks, or in clock synchronization. In my perspective, why I find this interesting is because you can construct protocols for solving the average consensus problem that can later extend to solve more difficult problems in decentralized optimization, where you have uh, to minimize your function f of x. And each one of the nodes, instead of having one specific scalar, has uh, one particular function. And the goal is by doing some uh, computations and communications to evaluate the, minima the minimum point of the general function. And this is the problem that appears normally, is a distributed setting where the F normally is too large that cannot uh, fit in a single computer. And a single computer is not powerful enough for this task. Uh, so each node has one specific distribution, uh, make updates using stochastic gradients, and then uh, communicate with its neighbors to evaluate the minimization of the function value. So just a bit of a background of why this is important and where it appears uh, in the literature. So if you start from the one, uh, the decentralized parallel stochastic gradient descent, and you notice how the updates are made, uh, there is the paper of Xiao, Ling Xiao and Boyd of 2005, where they propose exactly the same method for solving average consensus. Then this uh, protocol extended for solving strongly convex functions by Nedjig and Ostaglar. And just recently, uh, three years ago, uh, in a Lian et al. paper, extended for solving deep neural networks. Similar, it happens with um, a synchronous version of it. And this is where we will focus mostly today on the pairwise gossip of Boyd, were extended to the strongly convex case and recently used the same algorithm in the deep neural network for solving 
uh, in ICML 2018. And again, the same thing, you can see that exactly what it happens. People from a decade ago use it for solving average consensus. Then they extended it about five or six years ago to strongly convex and convex decentralized optimization problems. And recently, all of these protocols are used for solving uh, deep neural networks. And so the algorithm that I will focus mostly the talk today is uh, the randomized uh, pairwise gossip algorithm of Boyd, where they suggested that uh, you have the network, each network has specific values, and how the updates are made is that one random node is activated, select one, only one of its neighbors, update a, a communicate, and update their values to their average. And by doing that, continuously and after specific number of iterations you converge in the accuracy of uh, of the average point that you want to do, to converge to okay so before explaining the main methods that we we show and why our methods solve this problem let me make a small uh, parenthesis on scheduled projects methods for solving linear systems so if we have a very large linear system, yes, can you hear me? Someone speaks. Yeah, I can, but I don't know if anyone has a question. Someone speak, I think. No? Okay, let's continue. Yeah. So if you have any question, feel free to interrupt me and ask at any point. Uh, so uh, we have a linear system, is li a large linear system, and we assume that it's consistent but we don't make assumption like the matrix A is full rank. We don't assume that the linear system has a unique solution. And uh, in particular, we're interested in one specific solution, the X, which is closer to a given vector C, which satisfy the linear system. This is in some literature is known as best approximation problem, which essentially you find the solution of the linear system, which is closer to your given point. And the algorithms that I will present today and I, I will show if the given point is the starting point of the method, all of them converge to the uh, solution of the linear system, which is closer to the starting point of the method. And uh, just in general framework, uh, a method that doing that is the schedule project method for solving the best approximation. So you start from one X zero and in each step you select a sketch version of the original linear system and you project into it uh, to obtain the next iterate. And this algorithm has a closed form expression like the one appear there where matrices SK can be any sketch matrix drawn from a given distribution. And it was shown that this general framework can be simply analyzed. And the theorem is the one that appear here. And you can see in equation four, converge linearly and depends on the minimum non-zero eigenvalue of a matrix W, where this W is a symmetric positive semi-definite matrix that depends on the A and on the matrix S. So, a special case of this is the randomized customers method that we are all being aware of. So just simply from the illustration, how this works is if omega is one, so the step size is one here, you make simple projections here for illustration purposes and just put it alternating in the two hyperplanes. And you start from one X zero and after a specific number of iterations, you know how far you are from the X star. And because it's consistent in our system, you always know that you have this X star. And the matrix here is different because you have a special case. Okay, now that I, I explain what is the average consensus and I made a small background literature on the scheduling project methods and why they solve linear systems. Up to this point, any of the audience has any, any question? Okay. Good. So I will move to an optimization formulation of the average consensus, which is, uh, is known in the literature. So people know that this exists. So if you take the average consensus problem, you can represent it as optimization problem uh, with uh, find again the X point, which is closer to 
a given parameter C, which normally this is the starting point of the values of the nodes of the network and subject to this constraint. If xi and xj are equal, if the age between them exists, so if they are connected in the network. And the optimal solution of this uh, problem is exactly the solution that we want to find in the average consensus, the average of all values of all nodes. And the question here is, are we able to express this problem differently? And if we do it, what we can gain from it? And uh, simple, that's the optimization problem. And if you take the constraints and you represent them as a linear system, then this is exactly the problem that all the sketching project methods solve. And particularly the randomized Katzmars method. So you take a linear system. I will explain what this linear system in is, but you can represent the constraints. You can run the randomized Katzmars or any other scheduling project method, and you can solve the average consensus problem. And there are some specific properties of the average consensus linear system. The right-hand side needs to be zero. Uh, you can show that the rank of this matrix A is N minus one. So this particular, this is very important because normally the analysis in the randomized Katzmars setting in many papers assume that the matrix A is full rank. So if you don't have this assumption, which you can extend your theory to it, uh, to have it, then you cannot have a method for solving the average consensus. It's important. And now we, we in the paper, we went and we construct specific uh, matrices that can represent this average consensus system. In this talk, I will focus only on the incident matrix. But you can have a Laplacian, you can have the random walk uh, normalized Laplacian and the normalized incident matrices. And each one of them, if you use them, you can obtain a different Gaussi protocol using the sketching project methods for solving this particular problem. And for these that are not aware of the incident matrix of the graph is a matrix that it has the number of rows are the number of ages and the number of columns are the number of nodes and it has one and minus one in each row if the two nodes are connected. And we have undirected graph. So that's, uh, that's clear what it, what it means. Okay. So now if we take the randomized Katzmars method for solving this particular problem with the incident matrix, then we take the update of the randomized Katzmars, we put the right-hand side to be zero, the matrix to be the incident matrix, then the update is the one up here here. And if we take on top of it that the step size is one, then we can see that the update of the randomized Katzmars is this particular one here. So what it does in each step, select one specific age, takes the two nodes, ex exchange their information and update their values to their average. And this is exactly the randomized gossip algorithm of um, Boyd et al. that I explained in the beginning of this talk. And what is very interesting is that if you take the randomized Katzmars method and you specified it to this setting, then the conversions rate of the method is exactly the same with the one appear in the original paper of uh, Boyd. And I have, I have a question about this. Yes, here. yes. Mm -hmm. So who's doing this because you have a graph. So who's doing the update on it? Every node, they're all doing it at the same time? No, no. So the, how this, there are different, set, different decentralized updates that you can do. Normally, if you have a synchronous updates, all the nodes simultaneously communicate with all of their neighbors and update their values. But this specific setting of randomized gossip, how it works is that you have a network and randomly each one of the nodes activated. You don't select which one, but you have something like a Poisson clock that it ticks. Okay. So one of the nodes is activated, select a subset of their neighbors and update their values to their average. That, that's the idea. Okay. And um, this is exactly, uh, okay, where we stop. Ah, okay, in the randomized customers for solving the average consensus problem. And now what is interesting, and this is where uh, I will focus the rest of the talk, 
is that by doing this connection, we can borrow stuff from the and borrow uh, uh, tools from the linear system solvers in order to propose uh, new algorithms for solving the average consensus problems. In our work, we did several of these connections. I will explain later just briefly. But in this talk, I will focus on the accelerated variance. So uh, there are two momentum variants of the Katzmars method that uh, they work and uh, in practice faster than the randomized Katzmars. And as like any other optimization algorithm, the two variants is the one is the heavy ball momentum and the other one is the nestor of acceleration. Uh, in the, regarding the rates, I will focus on the nestor of later, but just to see how the updates of the heavy ball momentum works, you have the randomized Katzmars, which is this part here, and you add the heavy ball momentum uh, on top of the update. So in each step, each node updates its value using also its previous uh, its value. And uh, this algorithm for analyzing the general setting in one of our previous work, but here we focus it on the average consensus. So how the method works at the moment. So we have that uh, is slightly different, is still doing pairwise gossip, but at the moment, all the nodes of the network are update their values simultaneously, but they don't communicate. So if you see the graph here, the node six and seven update their values using their current iterates and their previous iterate. They still exchange only the one value, but update their values using also their previous information. And the rest of the nodes either update their values uh, at the same time with the pair, pair here, or they save the updates and they know in which inter iteration they update their value. In the paper, we explain how this can be in done efficiently in distributed manner. And uh, it works very well in practice. And uh, compare, there is a comparison between what existed in the literature as an accelerated gossip. And the only difference between the heavy ball momentum that we suggest and the shift register case that exists in the literature is in the fact that our uh, the rest of the nodes of the network update their values uh, without communicate. And we have some uh, experiments that showing that actually by having the beta and as you increase beta, we notice as you go close to 0 0.5, you always have better performance. But if you exceed uh, 0 0.5, which normally the momentum parameter is selected 0 0.9, we notice that uh, sometimes diverge. And this is predicted from the theory as well. Uh, okay. And here, let's go to the accelerated variant with a uh, nestor of acceleration. Uh, I will not go into the details of how the acceleration it happens in the general case of the randomized catchments, but I will focus on our con contribution with the accelerated gossip. So here, what we do is very simple, is that we still have a pair of nodes that communicate and update their values using uh, to their average. So in each step, so the difference is, uh, uh, let me rephrase it. You start with two sequences, V0 and X0 from the same point. You give this beta, gamma, and alpha, these specific parameters that you have in the network. And then you select the pair of the nodes that you want to update and update their values using these three updates rules here. So you exchange the information of the yi and update the value of the vi using only your vi, the yi of your value, and the yj of the node that you communicate with. And the rest of the nodes of the network update their values using only their previous information without uh, communicate with any of their neighbors, just by themselves. So it doesn't count as a communication cost. It's still the same um, cost that cost the, the randomized pairwise gossip of void that doing only one pair 
select one pair and update their values to their average, cost exactly the same with this update in terms of communications. And the difference is the here, which is clear uh, faster. So if you, this is the simple randomized gossip algorithm of Boyd, and this is a convergence, and this is a convergence of the randomized Katzmars method. Now of the accelerated gossip, which we borrow tools from the analysis of accelerated Katzmars method, is that we take this Lyapunov function and we can see that instead of having a linear rate like the randomized Katzmars method, we have this square root there. So in order of magnitude is always faster. And uh, we can see this new parameter, you can consider it that in most of the accelerated gossip setting is close to one, but belongs in this interval. And this is how we obtain acceleration. And just to see some experiments. So the blue lines in this experiment is exactly the randomized Katzmars or the pairwise gossip of Boyd. The orange line is the one, is a previously known algorithms that consider accelerated. And uh, our approach, our two accelerated schemes are the green and the red line. And you can see, for example, if I just take, here I, I will make experiments on typical wireless sensor networks. This is a 2D grid graph. This is a random geometry graph. And this is a cycle graph. And in all of them, we notice that uh, our methods are faster. And if you take just one simple example, after 200 iterations uh, in, in the 2D grid graph, our method achieved 10 to the minus eight uh, um, accuracy, while the previous known methods achieved 10 to the minus four. And how, how big is the graph? So here, here I have 20 by 20, 30 by 30 is small graphs, but we actually use them in real life applications and all of them work really good also in, in large scale graphs. And do, do you have any uh, preference on whether to use Nesterov or the acceleration? Uh, so in, uh, in practice, we notice that uh, the Nesterov acceleration will provide parameters that in most of the times we notice that it works very good. The heavy ball momentum, uh, this beta is only a single parameter that how we define it is that uh, we, we select what the theory predicts, but sometimes it wasn't as favorable as the star of acceleration. Okay. And to conclude, uh, this is a paper where it shows all of that. So in this talk, uh, I focus only on the general framework that I wanted to show that scheduling project methods for solving linear systems are very useful for uh, construct randomized gossip algorithms for solving the average consensus problems. And uh, we show the first accelerated randomized gossip algorithm provably, which to the best of our knowledge, it was, this algorithm didn't exist in the setting of, uh, in the stochastic setting. Uh, what exists in the paper but didn't cover it in this work is that all of these methods can solve a weighted average consensus problem, which is a general and generalization of the one that I, I explained. All the methods can uh, interpret, you can obtain more algorithms, more gossip algorithms. Here I focus only on the incident matrix. If instead of the incident you choose a, a Laplacian matrix, then this can give you a better acceleration, a, a faster method. Uh, I didn't cover block variance where you can have simultaneously pairwise updates of several parts of the graph. I didn't cover dual randomized gossip algorithms. And I didn't explain how um, um, more, more algorithms from the scheduling project literature for solving linear systems can be seen as uh, gossip algorithms. For example, there is a popular gossip algorithm called eavesdrop that can be seen a special case of the katzmars mortkin uh, method for solving linear systems. And as, uh, and I conclude as a takeaway message, I would like to see this work as uh, from two viewpoints. If you belong in control theory, signal processing community, then this is a new framework for the design and analysis of gossip algorithms for solving the average consensus problem. 
if you belong in numerical and large brain optimization and you play around with randomized Katzmars method, uh, gauss Seidel, and all of these variants, then all of them can have a decentralized nature and can be used. Uh, a, the average consensus problem can be seen as an interesting application of these, of these methods. And something that we are currently working on is novel gossip protocol based on Kasmars type methods and extend the gossip averaging algorithms to a more general setting. And just last week, we posted online a recent paper where we extend some of these results with colleagues from EPFL. And it's very related to decentralized optimization, federated learning, and all of these ideas uh, can be extended not easily, but can be extended to more general and interesting setting. Uh, thank you. Okay, thanks a lot, uh, Nicola. Am I, yeah, I'm unmuted. So I'm gonna clap. Okay. And I don't know if we have a, a, a time for a very quick question, so. I have a question. Yes, <laughs> yes. So in the sketch and project algorithm, you mm -hmm. can plug in any sketching matrix, like sampling, random matrices, coding-based matrices. Can you use these sketching matrices in the graph setting? Yes, yes. So in the graph setting, you can be more clever of how to use this SK. For example, if the SK is like the random is the coordinate vector, you obtain the randomized customers where I focus this work. If you take the SK to be a, a column submatrix of the identity, then you obtain a method like the randomized block customers. And you can uh, have interesting gossip algorithms that you have uh, more than one pair that communicate in each time. Now, if you use Hadamard uh, matrices or other sketch uh, matrices are captured from the theory. So how they work in practice uh, in graphs, you need to make sure that the communications are decentralized. So in each, in each update, this SK should be selected in order for the method to communicate only with its neighbors. If you do that, then the theory holds and everything goes smooth. I see, okay, thank you. Thanks again, uh, Nicholas.